The Nintendo Switch, Nintendo's newest console, has a ton of hype surrounding its release and looks like a very promising console as far as both impressive tech and quality games are concerned. One of the biggest critiques, however, is how shallow the launch lineup is. Fortunately, a launch lineup is only temporary, and the potential of new games on the Nintendo Switch looks to be very promising. One thing I've noticed missing, however, is any acknowledgement of new Pokemon games for the Switch. Fortunately, there are a few hints and general speculation based on past history and current trends that suggest what kind of Pokemon games we could see on the new hybrid console in the near future. This video will look at 5 of the most likely Pokemon games that could find their way on the Nintendo Switch, so let's go ahead and dive right in. First up on the list today goes to a Pokemon title that actually has the most potential of being an upcoming release just due to the number of leaks and rumors behind it, Codename Stars. It all begins with a Eurogamer article posted back in November of 2016, allegedly confirming that the Sun and Moon Switch port codenamed Pokemon Stars was being developed alongside the 3DS titles. The article goes on to say that the game has been developed simultaneously but was delayed to give time to polish Pokemon Sun and Moon for release, but ultimately the article states that Pokemon Stars will be a third version of Sun and Moon, just in higher quality and moved over to the Switch, with compatibility with Pokemon Bank in order to allow for trading between the Switch and the 3DS versions. Now the large amount of skepticism from the fans comes from the fact that this article essentially came out of thin air, and there wasn't too much to back it up, until later, a leaked GameStop post on their own site had mentioned that Nintendo Switch owners could enjoy several games such as Mario, Zelda, or Pokemon at the comfort of their own homes. Go figure, this post was deleted very quickly after. It's no coincidence that this post was taken down so quickly, especially looking at the Nintendo Ninja's history of swiftly dealing with and erasing leaked footage of games and consoles. But a Pokemon Stars on the Switch makes a ton of sense. The Switch is by no means a dedicated handheld. Nintendo interviews have confirmed that the 3DS is intended to live alongside the Switch, but an HD port of Sun and Moon remains a fairly cost-effective way to test how a traditionally handheld-styled Pokemon game could function on the Nintendo Switch, a console advertised for its ability to play on the go. Unfortunately, judging by the rumors, it looks like Codename Stars wouldn't have too much new content to bring to the table, making this one of the more boring titles on this list. But there could always be the potential for some new Alolan forms, UBs, or even storyline content as one of the biggest critiques of Sun and Moon is their lack of post-game content. Either way, keep an eye out for Codename Stars, as this seems likely to be one of the games on the Switch, and possibly in the very near future. Number 4 spot on this list looks to new, or rather old, connections. Number 4 could either be a remake or a continuation of the Pokemon XD and Colosseum games. These story-driven games were first spotted on the GameCube and made a pretty strong impact on the series, being the first story-based games that broke many of the traditional rules such as the 8 Gym Leader Elite 4 progression that the series heavily followed at that point. Introducing an evil team corrupting Pokemon, Pokemon Coliseum's snagging mechanic made for another formerly traditional rule being completely broken, capturing a trainer's Pokemon. Being able to capture and later purify Shadow Pokemon made Coliseum stand out from previous titles. I've been longing for a remake of the games, and with Sun and Moon's new engine that allow for full 3D movement, Coliseum and XD could go a number of routes as remakes on either the 3DS or the Switch. But another strong possibility is an additional game to the series, a brand new XD or Coliseum styled game that involves the return of Shadow Pokemon possibly in an updated Ore region. With the improved tech of the Nintendo Switch, battles in Ori could look jaw-dropping with visuals and details that would truly blow previous games out of the water. And with the functionality of Pokemon Bank, being able to transfer purified Pokemon over to Sun and Moon would be a pretty cool feature, possibly being a way to capture many unobtainable Pokemon and legendaries in Sun and Moon, much like Colosseum and XD did for the third generation. Next up is hands down my favorite idea for a brand new Switch title a full-scaled HD Pokemon game. The game would function as a traditional handheld Pokemon game, as well as a traditional sense of exploration and progression, traversing caves, routes, and battling strong gym leaders along the way. The difference from this and Pokemon Stars, however, lie in two main points. The first smaller point is that the game would be entirely unique. It could possibly be in a revisited region, but more importantly, it's not simply a port like Pokemon Stars would be. The second and key point is that the visuals of the game would be one of the focal points. 
Having a Pokemon game in a world designed much like Zelda's Breath of the Wild has the potential to be a complete system seller. Take this fan-made image and truly imagine your favorite Pokemon game looking like this. Instead of the traditionally flat or even more recently 3D battle styles on the 3DS, picture the lighting, the environment, the Pokemon almost looking real with a battle menu that hovers over the playing field. It would be absolutely breathtaking. This new HD Pokemon game could also incorporate some elements of Pokemon Go. Perhaps instead of wild encounters through patches of grass, Pokemon now free roam and finding rare Pokemon involves traveling to hidden areas. Maybe one day you're running through a route and see a wild flock of Doduo stopping to eat. Maybe another day it's pouring down rain and you notice this rare Blastoise out by the water. And maybe you want to explore with your friends, so you join an online world that allows you all to battle, capture, and trade various Pokemon. Not being limited to the technical limitations of the 3DS creates so many new possibilities and the simple thought of a game like this makes me hopeful that the Switch could truly bring about some amazing games. Pokken, the Pokemon Ticket hybrid game made its way onto the Wii U and was a very mixed game in terms of popularity and opinions. Overall, the game was a ton of fun to play personally, and I know a lot of people who seemed to heavily enjoy the game when it came out. But shortly after the release, the game seemed to just fall off the hype train completely. Even myself, it wasn't that I didn't enjoy the game anymore, but I just found a complete lack of desire to play. Part of me believes that the biggest reason is that Pokken really lacked a strong single player option. I was never able to unlock Mewtwo simply because I couldn't be bothered playing through the weak and repetitive single player side of things. But Pokken is in a weird spot right now. The arcade version in Japan is seeing tons of new playable Pokemon yet there has been no word on if these Pokemon will ever be DLC for the Wii U version. Meanwhile, balance patches are still occurring, and it was just recently announced that Pokken will be at the World Championships this year after many thought the Pokemon company was done supporting the game in competitive circuits. Given all these situations, I feel like it's pretty simple. There's a very strong chance we will see Pokken ported to the Switch in the near future, as I like to call it Pokken 1.5. I'd imagine we'll see Pokken released on the Switch with all of the additional playable Pokemon. It'd be fairly cheap and easy for Nintendo to do, and if the competitive scene is still being supported after this World Championships, it makes sense to move to the newest console to force competitors to buy new hardware. And Nintendo is already showing their support of ports with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The Wii U Kart Racer is getting ported over to the Switch shortly after a release with a few new bonus additions. If it can happen with Mario Kart, that means Pokken is also a possibility. But in order for Pokken to be successful in my opinion, they'll have to add way more than just the unreleased characters. Creating a more engaging and fun story mode that isn't simply just grinding your rank is a downright necessity. If they're able to do that, maybe Pokken 1.5 would be fairly welcomed in the community and could help create a bit more incentive to continue playing the game down the road. Now before we move on to our final spot, I wanted to spend some short time on honorable mentions. Games that don't have the greatest chance of being on the Switch, but the possibility is always there. Nintendo released an image showcasing many of the developers currently working on Switch games. A notable one on that image was Chunsoft. While they make tons of different games, they're most known for working on the Mystery Dungeon series. Could a Switch version of Mystery Dungeon be in the works? Possibly, but it's also very likely that they're working on another game entirely. And lastly, a game that I imagine many Pokemon fans still want, including myself, Pokemon Snap 2. The highly praised Nintendo 64 game remains a phenomenal spin-off in the series and seeing it on the Switch would be an incredible experience. However, the Snap series could have easily worked on the 3DS and even more so on the Wii U with the gamepad functionality. However, we ended up not seeing that happen. With the Switch getting rid of that gamepad type of playstyle, a Pokemon Snap 2 seems even less likely on the Switch, but there's always that little grain of hope. And the final game, topping off this list at our number one spot, goes back to the Nintendo 64 era with one of the most beloved games in the series, a Pokemon Stadium 3. Now we did see Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii during Gen 4, and in a lot of ways the game did function as a Stadium 3. But naming aside, it's been ages since we had a home console Pokemon game capable of high quality battles. Pokemon Stadium 3 has been a game fans have been asking for years now, and I find myself agreeing with those fans that this is one of the games I most certainly want to see on the Nintendo Switch. 
being able to use Pokemon caught on your handhelds from Pokemon Sun and Moon to take on various gyms and leagues would be a ton of fun. And a popular request of many Pokemon fans is a game where you travel to many, if not every region. So to compensate, maybe Pokemon Stadium 3 could feature every generation's Pokemon League, allowing for a ton of various fun battles to win. But most importantly, if a Stadium 3 does happen, there is one simple thing that must be included. Everyone knows when you get together with your friends to play Pokemon Stadium, battling is rarely the activity to do. Even better than the battles, nothing beats the classic Pokemon Stadium minigames. If Stadium 3 doesn't introduce more amazing minigames to enjoy with friends, I think we can agree that this will be number one on the top 10 list of disappointments in the Pokemon series. And with that concludes my top 5 list of Pokemon games that we could reasonably see on the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and follow me on Twitter for updates. Thanks so much for watching guys, peace out.